The woman who spun out of control as she was being rescued off Piestua Peak is taking the first steps towards a lawsuit against the city of Phoenix. You may remember the video of her nightmarish ordeal. It went viral after she spun more than 170 times. The woman was being hoisted off the mountain after she got hurt on the trail. On Tuesday, her attorneys filed a notice of claim against the city for $2 million, saying the city was negligent and caused her injuries. Team 12's Mike Gonzalez read over that notice, and Mike, she says that she never wanted to be transported by helicopter. Good evening, Mark and Caribe. Yes, that's right. The notice of claim says that once the paramedics evaluated the woman's injuries and she had no obvious signs of distress, she told them she didn't want to be transported via helicopter, but they did it anyway. Who can forget this painful to watch video showing 74 year old Catalan Metro spinning out of control after being hoisted from the circumference trail along Piesta Peak on June 4th. I just didn't know why I didn't know if she was dead or alive. That was Catalan's husband George who spoke with 12 News just a few days after the incident. She's very dizzy and nauseous. So she hasn't been able to get out of bed. The notice of claim filed against the city of Phoenix, claiming those symptoms persist today. The claim, which is the first step before a lawsuit, says the city was, quote, grossly negligent and breached its duty to properly assess the condition of the patient, the accessibility of the locations, the terrain of the trail, and the time of day and environmental conditions prior to choosing helicopter transport. Only first thing she said, I'm glad I'm alive because she thought she was going to die. The claim says hospital bills for Metro nearing $300,000 after spinal surgery, rehab, and doctor's visits. The major point being made by her attorney is she never needed or wanted to be transported via helicopter in the first place. The total amount requested for damages is $2 million. The city of Phoenix and Phoenix Fire says they can't comment on pending litigation, but the day of the spinning rescue, they gave an explanation of what happened. Start to lower the load and it actually does start to stop. So, and then we slowly brought it back up. It gets into the same downwash from the aircraft. It started to spin again, brought it down again, brought it back up, hoping some of the spin would lessen, which it didn't obviously. But once we got the forward flight, the, the spin got quite a bit less to the point where they were safely able to bring the, the patient up to the aircraft. I did reach out to the city of Phoenix Fire Department to see if any changes have been made to helicopter rescue procedures. They said they could not comment on that either. Mark and Caribe. All right, Mike, thank you.